Yo, today we're checking out Transformers Animated Episode 4, and I decided to watch this one and R.I.D. simultaneously, like I'm doing with Beyblade Burst and Beyblade Metal Fusion. And that's because I really enjoyed both premieres of Animated and R.I.D. I enjoy the comedy in R.I.D., and the fact of the matter is, it is a sequel to Prime. And I definitely feel those serious vibes underneath that cartoony exterior of Animated, so I can't wait to see what both series are going to bring to the table. But before we jump in, do me a huge favor and absolutely obliterate that like button if you want more Animated here on the channel. And if you're new here and you enjoy the Animated content, maybe hit that subscribe button as well. Let's go, man. Let's see what this episode's going to uh, bring. Home is where the spark is, I believe is the name of the episode. Yeah, home is where the spark is, bro. Robin Hood? Is that a villain? That's an ugly looking Robin Hood, bro. My man said tally ho. We got a British Robin Hood, bro. Oh, look at that gauntlet on his arm. <laughs> what? Yo, what the hell? My oh, man got, uh, hands for arrows, dude. You're the emergency. Serves him right, bro. Yo, this guy's like, oh my goodness, it's a cybernetic uh, superheroes Optimus Prime. Hand me my telegraphian. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, he's really trying to get loose. It ain't gonna work. Oh, he actually slipped out. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Optimus. I can't believe he slipped out of Optimus's hands like that. Are you kidding me? This human's fighting back? I mean, I guess it's not unheard of in Transformers, but, uh, and I guess they have, like, advanced technology. It's been 50 years since, what's his name, found Megatron. I will still be famous. Looks like you'll just have to settle for famous. I used to be famous, he said? Interesting. So are we going to see, like, a bunch of different villains like that? I would love to see the superhero that might be, like, taking care of business before they showed up. You know what I mean? I'm sure if there is a superhero, he's not too happy that the Autobots are stealing his business. The one that doesn't want to be uh, spotted, bro. I mean, he's not having a good day. He's not having a good day, bro. He doesn't like getting uh, put on camera. My man's an assassin, a ninja. But everyone here is blind to it. They all rush to see everything, but never sit still long enough to experience what is around them. Yo, Prowl. This morning, I observed one organic creature stalk another with such This is grace. so interesting because this is his first time on this planet, and he can appreciate it more than its own inhabitants. Access denied. Yeah. yeah, so I'm guessing that's why she never found it, because she's never allowed in there, man. Because he's had Megatron for 50 years, right? He has a pet Megatron, bro. They butchered my boy. What's that? Oh, and of course, we can just hack into whatever we want. <laughs> Yo, sorry he's going to be a little menace with this key, bro. Granted, yeah, bro. Sorry, you know no one, including you, is allowed in my private lab. Rules are rules. Good morning to you too, Dad. I brought you a cup of tea. Oh, thank you, thank you, but I am not thirsty. <laughs> Downs it. Yeah, you were saying, bud. We bacon and oh, bro, is that gonna affect Megatron in there? It brought him back to life because it's the All Sparks energy. Liar. I mean, he did put the bomb on him, but. This cannot be happening. The old spark finally within my reach. And he has no hands. And I have no hands. <laughs> yeah, dude. Perhaps I'm not as immobile as I. What did I say, bro? You could. be more than one way to locate the old spark. Bro, we saw this coming from a mile away. That he's going to start taking over the systems, right? Yo, this is sick. But I didn't realize he was in stasis. And then that the AllSpark key just brought him back online. <laughs> cool. It's me, sorry. Wow. Sorry? He stuck the key How in there and it put him right on the same comm link. It's wicked cool. Dude, that key is uh, 
Cheat skill. <laughs> He's dangerous with that key, man. No. You're not allowed to have that key. I've been too busy helping the Autobots settle into their secret lair. Oh. And this guy is, has no idea that Megatron's back online. Okay. I could have sworn there was one more of these pocket bots. Now where could it have gone to? I wonder. It's looking for the Allspark. Yo, this is cool, man. Even though Megatron's not in his usual body, I like what they're doing with it. It's a different vibe for Megatron, you know? And I feel like he's gonna get a body again. Bro, if he can get his hands, his non-existent hands, on the Allspark, will he be able to get a new body? Oh, the metamorphosis. Oh, boy. And now they got a spider in their house. And this menace spying on them. Oh, a tarp. A <laughs> tarp. Are you kidding me? I was I was wondering how they were gonna get a sleeping bag for them. Left hand on purple. Really? <laughs> Play Twister. So this is some kind of training <laughs> exercise to boost dexterity. Sure. It's a game for fun. Right foot on green. Hey, bro. That's cool. It's a mini projector. No sign of the old spark anywhere. Where are they hiding it? Better to destroy you Autobots and download its location <laughs> from your lifeless shell. Do it. You don't have any hands though, but I'm sure you'll find a way. The three children were now all alone in this spooky house. There was a horrible scraping noise. He's gonna get them good. You guys hear that? There it is. Getting them good. Oh, poor Prowl. Keep your chin up, Prowl. Oh, we're drilling into the system? Sorry. How are you doing that? How do you think? It doesn't just fix Autobots. I can do all kinds of other Bro. stuff with it too. Like hack systems. Uh, that wasn't me. All these arms are gonna come alive. Hey man, he said he needed a hand, right? He had no hands, he needed a hand. The whole where the whole like factory is coming back online what is that nail gun bro a bolt gun oh this is crazy attack of the killer factory bro hey man prowl's here to break it up isn't prowl sometimes a cop car in a g1 maybe he's here to break up the party Dude, what the hell? This factory's really fighting back. They just took out the medic. Somebody's gotta shut down that assembly line. <laughs> yeah. This is more like the disassembly line. Wheels on heels. Okay, my guy. You get it, Bumblebee. Doesn't seem like it's working, though. Okay. Putting the pedal to the metal. Let's go, Bulk. Let me crush <laughs> Goes him a moron. I mean, he is a brute, right? Oh my goodness. Like I said, this is not an assembly line. This is a disassembly line, bro. Dude, Megatron doing all this fucking chaos from the comfort of his lab, bro. The comfort of his cage. <laughs> Yo, I cannot wait to see Megatron get his body back, hopefully. Because I feel like he's going to be a menace in the series like he is in every series. Okay, Optimus. I don't know the physics behind that, but it worked, apparently. Oh, a magnet. Not good. Oh, man, that's uh, it's not too attractive. Everyone, stand still. So it can't... It'll track them if he won't track you if you stand still, probably. It's probably tracking you via movement. Yep, it has no eyes. Exactly. Okay. There we go. Time to hack the system. Let's go. 
Oh my goodness, it's oil. If I can make it to the control panel, I can shut this all down. Oh, you better make it. They're going to have to distract it by moving. Yo, I love that Prowl is going to be the hero this episode. I liked him right from the get-go in the premiere, bro. Oh, he's a cop motorcycle. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure he's a cop vehicle, a cop car in G1, right? Yeah, look at this ninja. But, oh no! I thought he dodged it. It's up to you now, Bumblebee. Oh. Remember, stillness. Oh, I mean, this is this will be tough for B, bro. Go. Let's go. Stop. Red light, green light, baby. <laughs> well. Antiquated machines destroy him. Antiquated machines bow down to my power, yo. There you go. Yo, that's electrifying. Hey, but he got them all back uh, on their feet. Victory shall be fleeting. Oh, no. We still got to deal with this. And Sorry's in there, dude. In the building. The teamwork, baby. Let's go, dude. Boom. Holy crap. You know, just another day in Detroit, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is nuts. A robotic design merging organic and mechanical. Fascinating. Oh, it has organic material in it as well. Catch it. They put nanobots in a spider. Oh, bro. That's all you're good for in this series, bro. You are a wrecker, right? In the uh, prime, so. Bro. Bro, yes. Get yourself a new body, bro. You need a body. Perhaps it is time I revealed a little more of my Cybertronian technology to Professor Sundak. Always oh, gonna use Sundak, bro. Sundak. Focus. Oh, this is sick. Relax. He's gonna manipulate him to get him a body. Oh, they're playing Night Twister again. That's cool. All right, man. That was a fun episode as well. I um I'm really enjoying the uh the series. I feel like there's definitely a serious vibe underneath the cartoony exterior. Obviously, there was character development there for B, characterization for Prowl. I love how Prowl is able to appreciate the Earth more so than its own inhabitants, right? It's really cool to see. And I like his ninja vibe, his ninja aesthetic as well. And I didn't realize until I saw him transform again that he is a police motorcycle. I'm not mistaken, he's a police car in G1, right? Definitely excited to see more Starscream, though. I like the Starscream in this series. He's confident and powerful. And I also really cannot wait to see what Megatron has up his sleeve. See what I did there? Anyways, I would love to hear your thoughts on this episode in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time.